Hey guys, this is Abhishek here and welcome back to my channel Technical Tech. As you can see today we have Lenovo V310 model laptop and the problem in this model is I am unable to install Windows 7 operating system. This laptop by default comes with Ubuntu and I have formatted it and easily installed the Windows 10 operating system. So you will not face any problem if you want to install Windows 10 but, but I am unable to install Windows 7 operating system. So guys, the step number one is you have to go to the BIOS. See, there are two options. While pressing this power button, if you press the continuous F2 key, you can easily go to BIOS. But in some cases, you may not able to go to the BIOS. On that case, here you will see one small hole. Are you able to see the first hole? This is small teeny hole you are able to see, right? Just you have to enter a small pin here. See, if you just enter the small pin here, just press it slightly press, okay? Just press it slightly. And your laptop is going to start, okay? Once your laptop get start, as you can see, it will ask you to go to the BIOS. I will bring the screen so that it will be easy for you to understand. So as you can see, by selecting the second option that is BIOS setup, you can easily go to BIOS. Now once you go to BIOS, just go to configuration and make sure USB legacy is enabled. Okay, now let's go to boot option. And here see boot mode make sure it should be legacy support and here you can see boot priority make sure it should be legacy first only see by default it will be in UEFI first but you have to change it as legacy first okay so these are the two basic settings you have to take care of and the next step what you have to do is you have to insert the Windows 7 DVD okay I have tried to install using pen drive but it is not going to work if you install using a pen drive you will get yeah, you can boot the windows media but you cannot install the operating system you will get the error saying driver is missing so for this reason it is highly recommend to use the dvd media okay so i'm going to insert this disk in this laptop so here i have installed inserted the DVD media okay now here you have to select the boot priority so you can use the F5 and F6 key to move these options up and down so see if I press see the first option I have selected a CD device okay so if you press F5 this option is going down see so make sure this CD media right RTP CD is mentioned here it should be in first place so you can move it to first place by hitting the F6 key in some cases you have to also press the function key also okay this is the function key so if I press function and F6 C it is easily going up so the first boot of mode I have selected CD second boot I have mentioned USB and the third mode I have mentioned the HDD so if you want you can make it as second okay so first boot it will be CD after that it will boot to hard drive okay now once you are ready with the settings just press F10 and hit enter it is going to save the BIOS setting now let's see whether it is able to boot from the CD or not so it's asking press any key to boot from the CD or DVD click on next install now See, now I am easily getting the option to select the windows. So I am going to select windows 7 professional 64 bit. Click on next. Accept the license agreement. Click on next. Custom and custom. Okay. Select your partitions. So I have already installed windows 10. So I am going to delete the partition delete the second partition also okay now this 100 GB is free just click on next 
and it will start install the Windows 7 operating system. So this is the basic configuration how easily you can install all Windows 7 operating system on Lenovo V310 laptop. And guys one more thing is if you try to install the 32 bit Windows 7 operating system even then also you cannot install because I have tried already and I was unable to install. So, so here is the Windows 7 32 bit media. This is Windows 7 32 bit media. So I was unable to install the operating system using this 32 bit operating system. Then again I have created one new bootable media and that is 64 bit. So that is why I am easily able to install the Windows 7 operating system. So guys hope the concept is clear for you and hope this video is helpful for you. Then please like, share and leave your valuable feedback in the comment section below. And for more amazing tech videos like this, do subscribe to my channel Technical Tech. Thanks for watching.